In this episode, we're going to use the Algolia search platform to implement full text search into an Angular 4 application. Algolia provides a library called Instant Search JS, which we'll use to implement all kinds of different widgets into our search with very little code. When you sign up for Algolia, it provides a default index of Hollywood actors. We'll be using this index in the first video, then in the second video, we'll create our own custom index with Firebase Cloud functions. The first step is to sign up for an Algolia account and get your API credentials. They have a free tier, which is just limited by usage. After you sign up, you'll go through a new user tour, and then you'll want to make note of your search-only API key and your app ID. Inside the Angular project, you'll run npm install instant search JS. Instant search is an open source library maintained by Algolia. It takes care of all the front end features like autocomplete, pagination, filtering, and a lot more. In Angular, I'm going to add my API keys to the environment file and specify the get started actors index. If you want to use the instant search default CSS, you can add that to the head of the index.html file. Now we can generate a new component called search UI component. We start by importing the environment file and the instant search package. We declare a variable search, which will hold the entire configuration for this search feature. Then we pass it the configuration from the environment file. And to initialize it, we call search.start. At this point, nothing will happen because we don't have any widgets attached to this search instance. So we'll go ahead and give it a search box widget. And every widget has its own configuration options. The most important being the container option, which points to an HTML element that will be replaced by this widget. So now that we have a place for the user to enter their search, we need another div that will hold the search results. We can accomplish this with the hits widget, so we just point this to another div with the hits ID. The component HTML template is just two empty divs with the corresponding IDs. Let's try it out. We have a bunch of results in JSON format, and they're filtered automatically by the instant search autocomplete. It's working as expected, it just doesn't look very good, so we'll use the instant search templating system to modify the appearance of the results. In the hits widget, we first set the escape hits option to true, then define two separate templates for empty and item. Empty just displays a string, and item displays some actual HTML, and you can pass it attributes by using the double curly bracket syntax. If we go back to the app, we can see the results are now formatted in a much more user-friendly way. This index also has an image path attribute, which has the actor's image, so we can use that in the template as well to display an image with our results. You can customize the results based on any information you have saved in the Algolia index. This gives you the ability to do complex ranking and filtering within your search results. Now we'll go ahead and add the stats widget. That'll just give us a simple printout of the number of results and how quickly the search took to execute. And let's go ahead and add one more widget for pagination. We just follow the same pattern as before, and magically our app has pagination. Pagination would be useful if you expect your search to return hundreds of results at a time. The last thing I want to show you is how to access the actual array of hits from inside the component TypeScript. Instant Search has another widget called the Analytics widget, which doesn't actually do anything to the user interface, but it does have a function that will return the query as well as the results. If we pull up the console and developer tools, we can see we're getting the objects back, which has the array of hits, as well as a bunch of other information. This can be useful for debugging, as well as sending analytic events to third parties. That's it for the first episode on Algolia Search. If the video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more, consider becoming a pro member for exclusive content, as well as one-on-one -on -one project consulting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in episode two.